Hubble is able to observe the entire range of things that is out there, everything from planets nearby us all the way out to the most distant galaxies. There have been a few images that really have made an impact. In particular, this image that people call the Pillars of Creation. But the big surprise is the cameras on Hubble are black and white cameras. And that is because that maximizes the amount of information that the astronomers can use. by using different filters in the cameras, red, green, and blue. The colors are automatically reconstructed by the different brightnesses of each picture element that was taken in the different filters. And ideally, we would use three images from three different colored filters to produce a full color image. It's pure science that's driving the colors. All the elements that we have here on the Earth are represented out in space. There's hydrogen, there's oxygen, there's sulfur. And we can study those from the light that we get from those objects. Okay, so that's the three black and white images. Now I need to composite those images together. This is the light of oxygen atoms, which is predominantly glowing in blue. This is the light of hydrogen, and that will end up being green. This is the light of sulfur which glows predominantly red. And if we turn on all three, then there's our color image. It takes a lot of fiddling around to get exactly where you want. That's the actual final product. There's material that's being blown out, which is a telltale sign of new stars being formed in an area like this. These are huge structures that's roughly five light years in height. So light would take five years to travel from the top to the bottom of these structures. 